Welcome to game two between Gypsy and Arter Turtle, part of Starcon, New York City land. Upper left hand corner we have Gypsy starting as the red Terran, upper right hand corner we have Arter Turtle starting as the purple Zerg. So this is the Eclipse round, but this is game two, so it's going to be loser's choice and Arter Turtle opting to go to Vermeer. And we'll see if he opens this time. I would be shocked if he actually tried to open up with the nine pool again. I'm assuming he's going to go for more of the standard economic. That's more his style, honestly, is going for the more economic build. This is maybe because he's... I actually want him to play a heads-up game versus Gypsy rather than going for a cheap, hopeful victory. And I think that... Cheap's the wrong word. For going for the catching your opponent off guard opening victory. Gypsy responding very, very well in game one. And it just really put Art of Turtle on the back foot the entire match what it came down to. Still tried to make it. He had some good recovery efforts, but uh, now we're seeing a bit of a forward barracks from Gypsy. Maybe playing mind games here. Maybe anticipating that 12 hatchery. So what this can do is, is you get two Marines out at the forward position early. This is risky on his part, but I like the mind game here. He's saying like, okay, you opened up nine pool game one. I don't think you're going to do it two games in a row. By the way, sorry if random jet noises end up in the background. It's... Uh, uh, what's the, what the air show week here where I'm at? Anyway, barracks going to be constructed. It looks like we are going to see a 12 hatch. The next question is, is does Gypsy find, does he send out dual SCV scout to find that base early? Which might provide him, first of all, dual information. One, he'll know where to send these initial marines if he opts to get aggressive. And two, he'll know against a 12 hatch that he can open up potentially one or even maybe skip marine early it looks like he's not going to opt to skip the marine here it looks like arter turtle is going to get the first scout that might dissuade gypsy from sending that marine to the forward position because drone you can just pull off i think two or three drones is sufficient depending on micro we do have that spawning pool dropping here in the background natural expansion has been spotted let's see if the it is going to be two scv alongside first marine making its way arter turtle trying to draw around creating a bit of additional delay and seeing the second marine should be a big alarm and also seeing that barracks continuing to construct should be big alarm bells to Arter Turtle. Instead, he's still going to dedicate what's out there, but he's already taken out one marine with the drones, pulled five off the line is hunting that first marine. SCV trying to group up. Some nice response here from Arter Turtle. Might have gone a little bit far. This is delayed. Oh, he might want to stay on the high ground. Now flip. Yeah, trying to abuse that high ground, getting a good surround thus far, but unfortunately having a little bit of trouble microing his drones and not getting the kill where he could have. Man, he had some good micro to start. He got two of these Marines very, very low, but just not able to finish it off and ended up losing, first of all, a lot of mining time, but also several of those drones to start. So that SCV going to pull back, feeling that that's potentially the end of it. We do have a couple of Zer these four Zerglings should be absolutely sufficient. The drone's going to be able to make the way back. And it's just a small little thing that could have switched that into a beautiful defense for Art of Turtle. Very, very close. And that might be tournament nerves right there. Command center now being plopped down a bunk necessarily being a follow-up. Two of the Marines heavily damaged, so they might want to scooch back as rapidly as possible. And we do actually had saw six Zerglings rather than four Zerglings to start here. Maybe a bit of an over-dedication here from Art of Turtle here. Also, the SCV able to sneak out through the line. No, this is a big dedication. We got... 10 Zerglings out on the field, but delayed, and the bunker is up. Might still want to try to shoot the gap. No gas again from Art of Turtle to start here, and that SCV is going to be able to crawl in and discover it. Nice SCV blockade from Gypsy, getting a lot of damage, <coughs> excuse me, on these initial Zerglings. At least some SCV is taking damage. The Marine's going to exit and clean that up pretty quickly, and it just shows you how sharp Gypsy is. <coughs> excuse me, still got a little bit of cough from the uh, COVID recovery from last week going on. Academy being dropped at least. Maybe going to be able to delay that. Yeah, able to get an SCV kill, but really solid defense from Gypsy overall. Command Center is going to come on. He didn't take... Th that was a, a big dedication of Zerglings to start. Also, Gas again delayed from Arter Turtle, dropping a creep colony defensively at the natural expansion. A few additional Zerglings. The drone trying to harass that SCV out, so he has some sort of recovery, but I gotta say, again, I wish I could have seen Arter Turtle play a heads-up match, because now, if that defense had just gone a little bit differently, this could have turned into an amazing mid-game battle between these two. Instead, 
Arter Turtle still at the five minute mark has not dropped his gas. Gypsy's definitely going to note that. And so is going to, he knows he can, that opens up a, a massive amount of options. Do we have another, no, that's an Overlord bottom right. Third base has not yet been taken. I think uh, Arter Turtle here a little bit in uh kind of, it's, it's one of those, they had a saying my coach used to say in certain situations where your eyes get big and your brain gets small. Um, I think that might have been what was happening going up against Gypsy is, is like, ah, I missed that initial gambit and so didn't follow it up with his best effort here. So Extractor going up with the natural expansion, it might just, yeah, be kind of that tournament situation. Now moving out to go ahead and grab this third base fairly late, but economically way behind where he would be otherwise in this build order. Gypsy in the meantime is just stuck with the double barracks. He's, he's hitting all of his markers. Stimpak about halfway finished engineering bay. Dropping's got the combat stations and the initial medic marine moving out. Just four Zerglings, gonna be somewhat out of position. A second sunk calling might be necessary against this. So gonna extract additional value out of this. And you can see the additional one being dropped and ooh, and a lot of drones. Yeah, this is Art of Turtle just playing a little bit uh, nervous here. Even dropping a third sunken colony against this. I'm wondering if that's a bit much here. Might not be just because of the timing of all this, because he didn't see them on move out drones. Too many drones pulling off the line too far out as well. So just donating some drones here. Yeah, this is just a frustration effort, I feel like, for Arter Turtle. So now the uh, Sunken Colony is going to drop and be able to push Gypsy back. But Gypsy already did significant damage right there. Arter Turtle at half the supply once again. Still Hasn't dropped that third hatchery. Yeah, Arter Turtle just kind of. Play. This is a fr this is frustration play from Arter Turtle right this second. Mutating to Lair. I believe the Comsat was able to check that factory going down sub seven minutes, which is great timing for Gypsy overall. Also dropping that third barracks. Plus one weapons on the way, so he's in good spot getting a second gas as well. So hitting all of his markers has a pretty sizable medic marine force. He can just sit back, wait for science vessels, move from there. Arter Turtle, maybe if he drops a random fourth and tries to play... I'm trying to think what he can do in this situation. Comsat dropping the natural expansion, seeing the three Sunkins. Maybe drop two more Sunkins here and try to sneak a hatchery somewhere out on the map. Like an additional hatchery on top of this and just drone really hard and try to play a rapid catch-up. Instead, it looks like he's dropping that second gas, dropping a Queen's Nest at his natural expansion to try to play two base. Zerg style, Marine gonna get caught and killed, but this I think this was an expenditure on Gypsy's part. He recognizes that that would have been the, the catch-up opportunity, so instead he's sending single Marine escorts out to all of the locations to find the additional hatchery that he knows Art of Turtle can't defend. And so, yeah, checking the 12 o'clock location, checking the 3 o'clock, found a hatchery bottom right, is gonna go ahead, so might lose some Medic Marines right there, but really just confirming that this is the only additional hatchery out on the field. So Arter Turtle wasn't able to sneak and grab an additional hatchery and make his way back into the match. So checking bottom, and very diligent, I have to say, on Gypsy's part, which is why he's such a phenomenal competitor. Double starport dropping, science facility on the way, and this is as the spire is not yet complete. So you might have science vessels out in the air before the even the initial mutalisks are out in the field, which is unfortunate. And right now, not enough something colonies bottom right to defend, and certainly not in time, so Arter Turtle gonna lose access to a third gas potentially. Yeah, maybe the slew of creep colonies at the bottom right might have been an option as well. Drop a whole lot there and try to play economic catch-up. But here he's gonna be dropped back down to two gas. He does have the five something colonies on front. I don't know whether that's gonna provoke... Gypsy doesn't need to drop a siege tank in response to this he can just drop infinite irradiates on the front door he's got the science facility already up this is before that spire is finished hive tech is going to finish but it's just going to be very very difficult for Arter turtle again at a third the supply right this second to keep up with gypsy and in particular the science vessel count as initial science vessels are being constructed before we have initial mutalisks even up in the air Radiate researching alongside as well, double upgrades on the engineering bay, and we've got five barracks producing all sorts of medic marines. Gypsy, if he wants to, could grab an additional expansion, but all he has to do right this second is take this medic marine pile, park it out there in the field. Looks like a few zerglings gonna get caught out in Fort Field. Yeah, double check. Looks like he's double checking to make sure an additional hatchery wasn't grabbed somewhere out 
Looks like bottom right hand base being rebuilt by Art of Turtles, so he's just hoping that Gypsy won't bust him in the meantime, and that the, uh, ooh, Greater Spire build. Follow up from Art of Turtles, so wants to try to make, uh, I still feel like this is going to be too little too late. The Mutalist trying to draw out. This is only four Mutalists to defend against way too many Medic Marines. More sunk colonies being dropped on the front, and I think the Comsat might have caught that, so Art of Turtle going to try to sneak these Mutalists behind the lines and maybe engage the turrets here, but some Irradiates on a, there's still going to be plenty of irradiates, and those are going to be prime irradiate targets as soon as Gypsy discovers that there's no lurkers here at the natural expansion. So right now he's going to see the lack of lurkers. That should be a big indicator for him. A couple Scourge going to sneak out. Greater Spire is finished. I kind of like this play from Ardor Turtle, though, trying to make something happen. So we got some Guardians morphing there. We got some Guardians morphing at the natural expansion to provide a little bit of defense. Medic... Sorry, just two Marines going bottom right. They're going to find that additional base before it's operational. And we already have the science vessels that are going to have to draw back. So this will be an annoyance for Gypsy. But it's... Yeah, and you can see him moving in, finding nothing, and just backing right back out. And this... Yeah, I think he already smells it. So he's drawing the science vessels back towards the natural expansion before the Guardians have even had an opportunity to start ass assaulting the natural expansion. Yeah, Gypsy now sees it, pulls off. He can go ahead and grab another base... Somewhere out in the field, the turrets being taken out. Art of Turtle pushing a little bit too far forward, but he's going to eraser trick it as well. Well played by Gypsy, and that's going to be sufficient to take care of all of these guardians. And there weren't Scourge alongside to negate this. Art of Turtle going to call GG right there. Beautiful play, top to bottom from Gypsy. I wish I still wanted to see Art of Turtle play heads up versus him. Uh, versus him, we didn't get that opportunity because honestly. Not saying that Gypsy doesn't win in that scenario, but I think Art of Turtle could show a, a pretty strong game in that scenario regardless. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get that opportunity sometime down the line. Honestly, Art of Turtle, this, I'm going to, I don't know if Art of Turtle's ever going to see this, but I want to, I, I think he's one of those guys that another year and a half or so could get to the AS rank area to be one of those guys that contends with the Gypsies. He's just got a few things he needs to clean up here and there. He's a solid player. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.